How's it going ladies and gents, Reverend Saint back again with another Destiny video today and what I'm going to be showing you guys is this new sniper rifle. I actually do not have it right now, <laughs> to be honest. I, I do, did have it and now I don't because I actually put it into my shotgun because I do not have a, another room available basically. I don't have another a proper primary weapon. Uh, so I'm using the Boolean Gemini, which is already an exotic. So this exotic sniper, the Black Spindle, does is not really usable for me right now. And I found it actually increased my light more if I put it into my shotgun and use Boolean Gemini than it did if I used a 280 uh, rifle and uh, use the, the black spindle itself at 310 so I put it into my shotgun put it up at 307 which I'm pretty happy with it's pretty freaking sweet I could go ahead and throw my sword on here because it's freaking awesome uh, it's not exotic yet I was originally going to be doing a guide for the exotic sword but uh, they came out with arms day and the last objective for it requires or is recommended 300 light and it's crazy here I'll just show it to you guys the objective is absolutely insane. People have done it, so it's obviously possible. But it says defeat Adleg Warden of Oryx and then Alaku of the Dark Blade within 30 seconds to seal your soul edge. I don't understand how that is even possible. I don't understand. Is it like you kill them within 30 seconds of each other, or do you have to kill them in 30 seconds? Is that even possible? I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research on it and obviously get a good squad together. But the recommended light for that mission is 300. That is 10 higher than the raid is. That is ridiculous in my opinion. But nonetheless, it's got to get done eventually. Uh, so I do plan on doing it. But I don't have the sniper anymore because I did put it into my shotgun to raise my light to 295. Which ain't bad if you ask me. I haven't even done the raid yet. I haven't even done a nightfall yet. So... Here is, wait, I can just buy that now? Oh yeah, I forgot I can just buy that now. That's sweet. Um, Because I did get that out of a uh, year two engram. It comes 290 uh, and I gave it to my Titan. But here it is right here. I can go ahead and get it right now for you guys. Uh, but it only comes at a 300 mark. So it's not quite as good. Uh, as it is when you first get the drop, it comes at a 310. But this is awesome because you can actually take that. I wish I could show it, show you guys, but I do not have another weapon. I might be able to buy something here. Let me go see. Let me go see if I can buy a, a gun or something. I don't think I have enough marks to buy anything really. Yeah, I don't. I need like 150 for that crap. That stinks. Okay, so, well, I can't do that sadly. But nonetheless, it is pretty cool because you can then take that 300 damage black spindle sniper rifle for the rifle rifle and uh actually and it looks freaking sick by the way it really does it, it is uh, legitimately the actual um black hammer from year one it's just a year two version it looks legit it's pretty good um here are the perks on it if you haven't seen it yet uh, white nail rapidly landing three precision shots will refill the magazine but it's from your reserve now originally it would just refill it magically but now it's from your reserve, so it actually uses your ammo. Still very useful for bosses and stuff like that. So if you're fighting like Tanix, oh, this would help so much on Tanix. It really would. I, I'm getting like the hiccups here. For some reason, it's weird. Um, and then you got Mulligan. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. So it's pretty dang good. Uh, although I just felt like it would be better to put it into my shotgun right now. Seeing as how this is the only good primary I have right now. So that is why... Uh, I did that, but I can get it again for 300, which ain't bad. I think that only is, that'll only knock me down to 294 if I were to equip that. I think so. It ain't bad uh, of a change right now where we stand. But you can what you can do uh, is you can get that, and if you want, you can put it into other guns, and you can keep doing it over and over again. So say you have a fusion rifle at 200 something, and you want to get it up to 300, you can just keep putting these, infusing those into that legendary fusion rifle. Or uh, or the exotic fusion rifle, if it's exotic. I don't think there are any of those. Yeah, there are. There are. Uh, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, you can still keep infusing them into there to get your other special weapons up to at least 300, which is definitely useful. Uh, so that's the pro tip for today. Uh, I really just kind of wanted to go over that and show you guys that, that you could get that. Now, how do you get it? I was going to do a guide, but it's kind of pointless now because it's a day later. You actually get it from a daily. And I guess a Bungie dev confirmed that you can only get it from a daily heroic mission. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be every day. 
but I'm pretty sure it's not because nobody found it until this past daily. I think it might end up being like a once a month type thing. Uh, one of the dailies will have a, a uh, or maybe once a week type thing. One of the days might have a secret hidden area. But this one was the, uh, I can't remember the name of the mission. It's the one where you first go in to get a piece of Crota Soul for the Taken King. Uh, and then you got to run out and instead of, and then you got to unlock the three doors with the orbs but instead of locking unlocking the third door you run straight into Tanix's strike area go up to the ship and you have to kill all of the taken that are in the ship including the boss in all the rooms within 10 minutes now it doesn't sound too bad and if you have 290 light my group was pretty much all 290 light if you've got at least that it's going to be a breeze uh, but I tried it again later uh, in the night with like a 260 and then like a 240 and we weren't able to do it We got kind of close, but we were not able to do it So we kind of just gave up on it to do other things uh, So it was definitely difficult and I can imagine the other dailies being the same way uh, And I don't know if they're gonna be different daily or if it's gonna be that one every time We do not know so keep your eyes open always make sure you do the daily and I can't stress this enough Get on the Destiny the Game subreddit because that's where you're going to find out what's going on. You, you can find out everything on there, dude. Like, you'll fight, figure out how to do it. You don't need to watch my videos. You don't need to watch Dado. You don't need to watch any anybody, really, uh, other than for ent entertainment or the ease of watching it rather than actually just reading it. But nonetheless, if you want info and we, can, and we haven't given it to you, go check the subreddit out. It's definitely worthwhile. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about on that subject. I do want to go ahead and let you guys know what I have planned. Uh, I am 295 light right now. I do not really have too many friends that are raid worthy just yet, but they're all getting really close. I'd love to try to get most of them ready to go um, before this weekend. But tonight I'm going to be live streaming at 6.30 p.m. I actually am this time, I promise. Um, and uh, I'm pro hopefully going to be doing the nightfall sometime tonight. Also, I might be uh, helping other people level up as well. It might actually happen on one of my other characters. And then on top of that, I'm going to be starting a new series soon because I got that PS4. I got the special edition Destiny the Taken King PS4. I love this thing. It's beautiful. Have not really used it yet uh, because I just haven't had time. I've been trying to focus on this character to get this character up and do the raid with him. Uh, but obviously, I have not been able to do that yet. But what I plan on doing is starting a new series on my channel of me leveling up some characters, maybe just one character, uh, on the PS4, like all the way up to, to raid-worthy type stuff, uh, and try to do it as fast as I can and show you guys the entire process. So let me know what you guys think about that. I think it'd be a ton of fun. It's it's uh, it's definitely going to be interesting, but I'm going to try and do it as fast as I can and upload every episode and stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool to do. Plus, it'd be my first PS4 content on my channel. So if you guys would like to see that, leave a comment down below. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I'm just saying because I want to do it. But uh, I would love to have the feedback from you guys to see if you guys would actually be interested in something like that. So let me know in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. We are 710 subs away from 10K, which seems like a lot. But it's in the, in the grand scheme of things, when you put 710 up against 10,000, ain't that much we could do that man let's do it let's get 10k i've got something real special planned for 10k that you guys are really gonna like i'm gonna hate it but you guys are gonna love it um, so i'm actually really excited to do that video for you guys so let's hit 10k shall we anyway moving on i'll see you guys tomorrow and maybe maybe later today i might do a second video i'm just saying this peace <laughs>